In this video we are going to study exponential smoothing with Brown's simple method in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Also, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's important to remember that when doing time series analysis and forecasting, past performance does not guarantee future results. Okay, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video is we need to load the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, packages. And for loading packages, we use library function and within it, the name of the package. For this video, we'll be using forecast for exponential smoothing method. And then also with library function, we'll be using ggplot2 for exponential smoothing method chart. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we can either click the run button or we can press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object named mData, which is model data, and it's equal to air passengers object. This air passengers object is part of our dataset's package and it was already installed with R. And the following step is we want to visualize part of this data. Therefore, we'll be using head function and within it, we include mData object. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and now we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. As we can see, this creates the mData object within the global environment as a time series of length 144 observations. Within the console, we can see part of this data, which are the first six observations from January to June of 1949, and here we have monthly airline passenger numbers in thousands. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, which is air passengers, select it, and then you'll see the documentation below, as mentioned previously, monthly airline passenger number in thousands from 1949 to 1960. So now we're going to continue with ranges the limiting and we're going to create two ranges a training range for model fitting and a testing range for model forecasting so let's begin with the training range so we create the object name t data which is equal to and here we'll be using window function and within it the parameters x equals to m data comma and equals to C, 1958, 12. So the training range is going to be from 1949 to 1958, the first 10 years of data. That's why we have end at month 12 from 1958. And then we have the testing range, which is going to be F data equals to, here we'll be using window function again, parameter X equals to M data. And in this case, it's going to start at 1959, comma, 1. So the testing range is going to be 1959 and 1960, the last two years of data. That's why we see that it starts at the first month of 1959. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And now that we have the data ready, we continue with step number three, which is exponential smoothing. And in this video, we are going to study brown simple exponential smoothing. And for this, we're going to create an object named brown, which is equal to, and here we'll be using SES function, simple exponential smoothing, and within it the following parameters y which is the data equals to and as mentioned previously model fitting is done within the train range therefore we include t data comma h equals to 24 h is the number of steps ahead forecast so we're doing brown simple exponential smoothing method forecast for the full testing range in advance without using any testing range data Therefore, h equals to 24 months or the last two years of data. Comma, pi equals to true. 
So we want this to include this forecast to include prediction intervals, comma, level equals to C80, comma, 95. So level is the confidence level for those prediction intervals. So we're including here 80 and 95%. And last at the following row, we have initial equals one within quotations, optimal. So this is the initial values estimation method. So we're going to optimize the initial values together with the Brown simple exponential smoothing method parameters. So important observations here regarding the parameters including within SES function together with ranges delimiting is that they were only included as educational examples which can be modified according to your needs. If you have any questions regarding this SES function, again, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, or you can go into the console and input question mark SES without parenthesis, enter one time, two times, and within the help tab, you have exponential smoothing forecast, you click on it, and you see the full documentation. So to run this code lines, we go ahead, select them, and we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And last, we're going to visualize this within its corresponding chart. So we'll be using auto plot function, and within it, the parameter object equals to brown. So in this first step, we're going to visualize training range data together with brown simple exponential smoothing method forecast, which as mentioned previously was done for the full testing range in advance without using any testing range data. So we're going to add here with auto layer. So on top of it, we are going to add object equals to F data. So we're adding the testing range actual data so that we can compare it with the forecast. With color equals to, within quotations, black, comma, and it's going to have its line type equals to two. So we have a dash type of line. And last, we're going to add LABS or labels, which are going to be Y, that's the vertical axis, that's going to be air passengers, within quotations, comma X, that's the horizontal axis label, and that is going to be within quotations here. So to run this code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And right here within the plot tab, we can see the chart. So let's go ahead and zoom into it. So first with title, which is forecast from simple exponential smoothing. On the vertical axis, we have air passengers. On the horizontal one we have here, the solid black line, that's the data from the training range. Then we have the solid blue line, that's brown simple exponential smoothing method forecast. It's the point forecast, which was done for the full testing range in advance without using any testing range data. Then we have the dark blue area, that's the prediction interval with 80% confidence level. Then we have the light blue area, that's the prediction interval with a 95% of confidence level. And last we have the dash black line, which is the actual data from the testing range. Okay, so we close the chart here. And with this, we finish with the code file, so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.